Hello class. Today we are going to learn about some of the greatest Americans that have ever lived. We're going to learn about Amelia Earhart, George Washington, Elvis Presley, Edgar Allan Poe, and Abraham Lincoln. And to show you more about it, I'm going to show you a little video about them. The Greatest Americans Which famous Americans do you know about? Do you know about any of these people? They are some of the greatest Americans of all time. Amelia Earhart was a famous airplane pilot. She crossed the Atlantic in 1932, setting a world record of 13 hours, 30 minutes. In 1937, her plane mysteriously disappeared over the Pacific as she tried to fly around the world. George Washington was commander-in-chief of the American Revolutionary Army. He later became a politician and the United States' first much-loved president. Elvis Presley was a singer and actor. He was called the King of Rock and Roll, or The King. His most famous songs included Hound Dog and Jailhouse Rock. Elvis was world famous. He died in 1977 at the age of 42. Edgar Allan Poe was a poet and writer. He wrote mystery, horror, and crime stories. His most famous works include The Raven and The Telltale Heart. He died of mysterious causes in 1849. Abraham Lincoln was a lawyer and famous U.S. president. He kept the United States together during the American Civil War and put an end to slavery. He was killed in 1865 by an actor who supported slavery. Can you name a famous person from history in your country? Why are they famous? All right, so there was a video about the great, um, greatest Americans. Do you know some of them? Now, we're going to do a little exercise, but before we do, I want to go over the text again to make sure that you fully understand it. So if we go to number one, Amelia Earhart was a famous airplane pilot. She crossed the Atlantic in 1932, setting a world record of 13 hours and 30 minutes. In 1937, her plane mysteriously disappeared over the Pacific as she tried to fly around the world. So you can see, if you just saw, you can read that she was a pilot and she crossed the Atlantic and tried to cross, cross the Pacific as well, but then she disappeared. The next one, George Washington, was a commander-in-chief of the American Revolutionary Army. He later became a politician and the United States' first much-loved president. So he was the first president of the United States and he was a commander-in-chief of the American army. He also was a politician. And number three, Elvis Presley. He was a singer and an actor. And he was called the king of rock and roll or simply the king. And he was world famous. Everyone knew Elvis Presley, but he died at a very young age, at 42. Number four, Edgar Allan Poe. He was a poet and a writer. And he wrote mystery, horror, and crime stories. 
and he died of a mysterious causes in 1849. Now, what is it? What, what is a, a writer? Someone who writes stories, but what is a poet? Well, a poet is someone who also writes stories, but they're usually a little bit shorter. They're short stories where the words or sentences rhyme together, follow the same structure. A very famous short poet is Roses are red, violets are blue, I love you. Number five, Abraham Lincoln. Now he was a lawyer and famous US president. Just like George Washington. But eventually he was killed in 1865 by an actor who supported slavery. We're going to make an exercise. Exercise number one. Exercise number one. We have, as you can see, Amelia Earhart, George Washington, Elvis Presley, Edgar Allan Poe, and Abraham Lincoln again. And we have a few jobs. Politician, lawyer, author, pilot, singer, poet, and president. And if you don't know what an author is, an author is someone who writes stories. Now you're going to put the jobs with the right people. And you have about two minutes. Alright, let's check the answers. So, first one, Amelia Earhart. What was her job? Was she a politician or a poet? President? No, Amelia Earhart was a pilot. Number two, George Washington. As you can see, he has two jobs. So, what was he? First one, a politician. And then the second one, can you remember? President. In fact, George Washington was the first president of the United States. Number three, Elvis Presley. Yeah, he did a few things, but what is he most famous for? Elvis Presley was a singer. Now go to number four, Edgar Allan Poe. And again, Edgar Allan Poe, just like George Washington, had two jobs. So the first one, what was he? An author. He wrote books. And he was also a poet. Number five. Abraham Lincoln. Again, we have two jobs. First one, 
Abraham Lincoln was a lawyer, but he was also the President of the United States, just like George Washington. We're going to the next exercise. As you can see, we have a few words. Paintings, appeared, ballet, cosmonaut, monument, author, century, museums. As we hear below here, we have an article and you're going to write the words, these eight words, you're going to write them in the missing parts. So while we go over the text, I want to see if you can find the words. So, start here with number one. First sentence. Wesley Kadinsky was an artist and one of the most important painters of the 20th. What is the right answer? Is it paintings? Arthur? So the right answer is century. If we're talking about years or time, we use the word century. So, number one, Wesley Kodinsky was an artist and one of the most important painters of the 20th century. Next one. He was the first artist to paint modern abstract paintings. He is best known for the unusual and beautiful shapes and colors in his paintings. Composition 7 and composition 10 are Kodinsky's most famous what is the right answer? what word should we put in number 2? the right answer is paintings so Composition 7 and Composition 10 are Kandinsky's most famous paintings. Next part, with a very difficult name. Fyodor Dostoevsky was a great... Hmm, number 3. Let's see if we continue, maybe we can find out what we're going to write in number 3. So, famous works such as Crime and Punishment and The Brothers Karamazov. His work had a lasting effect on the way people thought in the 20th century. There's a statue of him in Ormsk. So, it looks like we're looking for a job. Now, if you look at the words, we have a few jobs. Cosmonaut and author. Which one do you think we should fill in in number three? Cosmonaut or author? Let's see. Author. Fyodor Dostoevsky was a great author. Next one. Leo Tolstoy was a famous novelist, dramatist, and philosopher. Now, if you're curious about these words, a novelist is someone who writes stories, just like an author or a writer. A dramatist is someone who writes a play. When people act live, like an actor or an actress, 
but they do it live on stage in a theater and someone who writes the stories is a dramatist and then we have philosopher and that's someone who learns and likes to talk about life his most famous works are war and peace and Anna Karina Nina Karinina there are two hmm, about him one in Moscow and one in his birthplace Krishna Polyana so number four what word should we fill in so there are two things about him maybe museums or monuments maybe up here hmm. let's see museum with an S there should be an S right here so there are two museums about him one in Moscow and one is his birthplace Yashinaya Polinya we go to the next one Yuri Gagarin was the first well, what was he? maybe we can find out he was the first man in space and the first to orbit the earth so what was Yuri Gagarin and if we look here what word do you think what, what was his job let's see cosmonauts and the cosmonaut is the same as the astronaut but they use cosmonaut for Russian astronauts so he was the first man in space and the first to orbit the earth he was a Russian hero there is a huge something dedicated to him in Moscow so number six what is the word that we fill in? Monument? Here to a ballet. Let's see. Monument. There is a huge monument dedicated to him in Moscow. Then we go to number seven. But let's read first. Rudolf Nureyev was one of the greatest male dancers of the 20th century now is the word number seven is it appeared or ballet we're we talking about dances which one is it let's see ballet so, Rudolf Nureyev was one of the greatest male ballet dancers of the 20th century. He was the star of the Kirov Ballet and an international star and choreographer. And a choreographer is someone who writes dances. He thinks of how to dance and then writes dancing so people can move together, can dance together in the same way. Go to number eight. He also, hmm, in a number of movies. So number eight. Well, shouldn't be too difficult. We have only one word left. So number eight. Appeared. He also appeared in a number of movies. He died in 1993 at the age of 54. So that's the lesson for today. I'm going to say goodbye. Bye bye, class.